I know I'm supposed to say a, a Jamaica hi to everybody on this earth, but I really, I'm not in the mood to talk. Not even mood to make a video. Well, this is where I'm at. But, uh, there's a guy that's well known here in Not Obey. His name is Flowers. He says he's a church going person. Uh, the guy that took me to the ranch, to the farm. Uh, I woke up in the morning time after spending $7,000 in food last a week and uh, he wanted some money. I said, man, I'm not your bank, you know. But I'll loan you money as a favor, but I want you to pay me back. Yeah, yeah, you know. So I stayed up there for two days and after the day I gave him money, he showed up. And he's begging me not to go out in the street and spend my money on, on the women and gamble with the women and buy them drinks. He's begging me not to go. I said, listen, I promised the ladies I'd go see him tonight. I'm going to go down there, talk to him, and have a drink with him. I'm begging you, don't go. If you go, you're going to find your shit out in the street. I said, fuck you, man. Who are you to throw my shit out in the street? Oh, so you're trying to tell me to leave now? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Is to get the fuck out of here after you taking my money from me and taking food money away from me and kicking me out in the street where I don't have no money to live? I said, uh... Nice Christian you are. So he gets very violent with me after a while and he actually pushed me with his fingers but I backed away where he just barely touched my my face and I looked at him and I said man you call yourself a Christian buddy what you just did to me I'm gonna lay my hands on you in hell forever you little fucking piece of shit human being you fucking piece of fucking crap who in the fuck are you to touch me man well, he called the police up before he got violent on me, okay? So I said, man, I hope you did call the cops. I'm going to get you arrested for assault and battery if they show up. So I packed my bags real late at night. And uh, ended up uh, sleeping out in the woods. But I met some lady. She goes, hey, white man, how are you doing? She goes, uh, she goes, I have a little store here, and, and I, I sell marijuana also. So you can come by and visit me in time. So I said, well, let me try your marijuana. I bought her some. And she goes, hey, if you never, ever, ever need help, she goes, you have a, a place to come to, all right? And I said, respect, all right. So I ended up knocking on her door last night. She has a big old huge piece of property in the backyard and she goes, go sleep wherever you want at Gringo. Have a good night. I don't think it's safe for you out there. And I says, well, it looks like it's not safe nowhere in Jamaica. She goes, here it is. I says, I'm not worried about it up in the mountains. So it looks like I'm drinking beer again today. And battery's getting low, so I might as well go. Till next video. Oh yeah, before I get dislocated from your brain cells, somebody offered me a little one bedroom. Not much, just to lay my bed down and sleep. But it has a bathroom and a shower on the other side of the building. Stay here at Gringo for free. Just give me $2,000 to do what I need to do to the house. I said, here's $2,000. Don't do nothing to the bedroom. I like it the way it is. Till next video, I got to go.